Hey, Avery. Thanks for coming. I really need your help. What's up? Oh, Sandy asked me to come up with an idea for the Christmas play, and since you and I are the veterans around here, I need all the help I can get. I just can't come up with any good ideas, and we're running out of time. We need to go into rehearsal. I need your help. I don't have any ideas. Oh, yeah, the Christmas place. We have had a lot of Christmas plays since we've been part of this church. Yes, we have. Ten years worth. Ten years of angels and shepherds and stars. I pulled the old costumes out of the loft so we could see what we have and what we need. And I got all the old scripts so we can see if there's anything we can do other than angels, shepherds, and manger scenes. I want to do something meaningful. I mean, we've had ten years of angels and shepherds and manger scenes. Remember when we did Fear Not? I think that was one of our first. The first part of our three-year play. Yeah, I remember. It was about delivering the message from God about the birth of Jesus. You played a tap-dancing angel. a little angel who was too afraid to deliver the message of fear not to the shepherds. I can't sing or dance or play an instrument. I'm not an athlete and I'm not an artist. I'm afraid of the dark. (laughs) It, It took a lot of moxie for that little angel to do what needed to be done. She had the ability. She just needed help from the people around her to encourage her to do what they all knew she could. Yeah, I remember that. The message was that we shouldn't be afraid. Hey, Rosa. Avery. What's up? Uh, I don't know. I need some advice. What? I... What's going on? Well, I really wanted to sign up for that mission trip that the youth group is going on to Philadelphia, but I don't know. I'm kind of scared and stuff. I mean, I've heard there's a lot of gun violence and drug dealing down there, and I don't want to be that poor innocent kid who gets caught in the middle of a gunfight and then everyone forgets about me after a week. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Ethan. No one will forget about you. You could become the poster child of how guns don't kill people. People kill people. Seriously, Avery? Hey, what are you two up to anyway? We're trying to come up with an idea for the Christmas play, but we don't have any ideas. But we'll get it, I'm sure. Yeah, eventually. But hey, about your problem. You'll be fine. We'll all be there. Yeah, and I know the pastors, Brother Juan and Brother Juan, will look out for us. They grew up in that neighborhood, and even the drug dealers respect them. And I know you're strong enough. You just need to get over your fear. Hey, why don't you help us come up with an idea for the Christmas play? (sighs) Okay. I probably won't be much help, though. I've only been in one of the plays, and plays really aren't my thing. Remember this play? I do. It was the second play in our three-year play. It was about trying to get the stars to cooperate on the night that Jesus was born to light up the sky. Those stars were total chaos and craziness. They were all so self-centered at the beginning. What are you doing? (laughs) That's the year we had this huge star, and all the rest of us just like this. I was the one who couldn't get my light to shine. I remember my line. Don't send me. I can't even see where I'm going myself. That sounds like me. Oh, well. All the, oh. All the other stars wanted to hog the limelight or the starlight. Uh, uh. That's right. They were all so... They all wanted to be the center of attention, and nothing was getting done. The point was that they needed to work together, because none of them could do it alone, and their, night, and their light was needed. 
No, I want to do it. No, I want to do it. It was my idea to help the animal shelter. I even got my cat from there, so it should be me who goes. No, me. No, me. What's going on? You know that project we're doing with the animal shelter? Yeah, what about it? Well, next weekend they only have one opening slot to go help with the Christmas adoption of the animals. And I came up with the idea to go there. I even got my cat from there, so I should go. No, me. No, me. Hold it. What happened to all the other parts of that project? We need to gather supplies. I thought we were all going to work together to make sure the shelter is all they need. Yeah, but... Yeah, but, hey, what are you doing dressed like that? You look a little... Weird. (laughs) Yeah, really weird. We're trying to come up with an idea for the Christmas play, so we pulled out our old props to see if there's anything we haven't covered. So far, we've covered angels and... Weird-looking stars. (laughs) Well, we could use some help. We need to get props together and costumes figured out and scripts written. And where is Sandy Queen? She's the one who's supposed to write these plays. (laughs) You guys, we also need some help with the mission project we adopted. You know, blessings in a backpack where I help feed hungry children in Howard County when they don't get enough food over their weekends. Well, I'm not going to do anything if I can't be the one who goes to the animal shelter next weekend. And I think I should be the lead character in the play. I haven't been the lead in any play. This just isn't fair. I collected the most supplies for animal shelter, so I should go. And why should you be the lead in the play anyway? And just why are Avery and Rosa getting to play in the play? (laughs) From what I understand, they've been the church's little darlings ever since they were little. This isn't fair. I don't need this stupid project or this thumb play. Well, I didn't sign up to do this all by myself. (laughs) Now look what you did. Why did you have to bring the play into this discussion? Me? You're the one who started the whole argument. Really, I have too much to do to deal with this. Well, now what? I can't spend time dealing with their problems. I need to get a meaningful Christmas play together now. (laughs) Churches, little... Darlings, (laughs) Darlings, <laughs> you can plan the play with Ethan. <laughs> Avery, get back here. I'm going to pretend to fall apart if you leave me to plan this play by myself, and then your mom will make you do everything like she does in youth group when she's in charge. <laughs> hey, remember this play, Behold? Remember when the innkeeper was stuck in the closet? There was no room at the inn. The stars wouldn't cooperate, and the angels were afraid of their own power. It was total chaos. Like now, in the play, it was getting closer and closer to the birth of Jesus, and nothing was being done because all the characters had issues. And now, it's getting closer and closer to the play, and nothing is being done because all these characters have issues. Wait a minute. I think we are missing the point here. You know, the stories in these Christmas plays weren't all that different from what's going on now. What do you mean? What I mean is... (laughs) You're right! You're so right! Let's start this over again. I think we just need a little scripture rewrite. You're right. It's right here in front of us. What are you two up to? Do we all have to wear these silly costumes? I still need to make up my mind about the Philadelphia trip, and the permission slip's due tomorrow, and I'm still kind of afraid. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, for unto you is given today a chance to do something special, and you will find the answer inside of you and help from your friends, so fear not. You can do this. You just need to believe in yourself. You have a gift. You are a gift to all of us. You will be a great asset to the trip. Well, if you guys think so, fear not. Fear not. I guess with you guys with me, there will be nothing to worry about. I think. (laughs) And suddenly there was, with Rosa, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, You're back! (laughs) We figured it out. We were just being selfish. We just want you to know we're great, and we want to serve God in whatever way we can. And I got advice from Avery and Rosa, and the message too, fear not. We're going to share the time, and deliver all the supplies you have collected, and adopt another cat. And we're all going to fill the backpacks. So, 
Are you ready to shine? We are. Are you ready to shine? We are. Behold, we have the real meaning of Christmas right here, and we don't even need costumes or props or scripts. We just need to care about each other as a group and find courage in our community and in ourselves. And the example of Jesus. And in others, like our brave soldiers and the medical professionals helping all those Ebola patients. And sometimes I just need to find my courage, even if I don't always feel it. And suddenly there was, with the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and good goodwill to, to all of us. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go into Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. You know it just wouldn't be a Christmas boy without the manger. <laughs> And angels. And stars. And love. All right, so we have a very special performance from our little folks from downstairs. They're going to do a way in a manger, and they're going to do some percussion. So they're not only the special performing singers, but they are also the musicians on this piece. So we're going to do one and three. They're going to sing one. Then you guys are going to sing three while they play for you. And then we're going to sing one again. How's that sound? All right, and you guys can sing along with us. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. All right, does anyone not have an instrument? You guys ready? Okay. You going to clap? Do it. <laughs> Sing back to me. You can do it. Like we practice. Yell it if you have to. Away in a manger. Away in a manger. No crib for a bed. No crib for a The little Lord Jesus. Asleep in the hay. Asleep All right, play. Everybody sing. Be Oh! 